In this video I'm going to show you how to draw the wheel spacer. You can do this in the same file that you did your wrench in. Uh, I've already inserted the image here so I downloaded that from Schoology. I went to insert and attach and I went on Schoology I saved that into the same folder uh, and then you can just grab that wheel spacer and drop that in. If it comes in at a different size you can always resize it. Uh, it will fit inside of this box so make sure, make sure it's uh, somewhere around that size. Uh, the blue circle here, um, you do not need to print out. You'll need it when you lay out the holes, but that's a center center line circle to establish where these uh, drilled, these five holes are here for mounting. Uh, we're going to begin uh, by drawing these two circles here. So you have a diameter 3.5 and a diameter 5. I'm going to make sure I'm in the object layer for this. So I'll go to center diameter and just out here I'm going to start with my 3.5 and then same center point my five inch circle and that took me to radius I'm going to go back to center diameter and redraw that at five the next one I have here is a six inch circle that's where these circles are spaced out so I will go back to center diameter type in six and I'm going to change the layer on this one to no print uh, that way I don't have to erase it and be there if I need to make any modifications. Now you have the small circles, those are diameter 0.6, the outer ones are radius 0.6. So we're going to put both of those up there. So we'll start with uh, center radius and we'll put in our 0.6 and then we're also going to do center diameter uh, with the same center point 0.6. So there's those two. At this point I would recommend uh, you can trim this if you want. Uh, we could we could leave it for now though. I'm going to pattern this around so I'm going to use the array tool and you want to make sure you're selecting polar array. Grab both of these circles. Once you're done with that you're going to right click and you're going to click the center of your pattern. Uh, the default is six. You're going to change this to five and hit the green check mark. Once you've done that, to make any edits to this array, you'll need to explode it. So we'll go up to the explode tool and that will break that into individual elements. At that point, I can go through and I can trim out these little sections. So I'm just going to drag my line through, get rid of each one before we go and add the fillets in. The fillets for these are radius 0.5. So we'll go to the fillet tool, select the radius option down here and type in 0.5. And I'm also going to select multiple. That will allow me to stay in the tool. Uh, you could also just go back and forth, but uh, I can just work our way around and fillet those. You could pattern the fillets. They don't always uh, line up perfectly, so I prefer to do those afterwards. And again, it holds that value of half inch once you put that in. So we're almost finished here. Now we will need to center this on the page. Unlike the last one where we just did a simple line across to get the uh, objects centered, we are going to draw a line from quadrant to quadrant on these bottom two. And then from the midpoint of that line, we'll take that all the way up to the very top. And that midpoint is the center of the drawing, not the center of the circle. So when I go to move that, I will select all of my objects here right click grab the midpoint that's the triangle hover over this so you get the geometric center and drop that in there and then you can simply update this uh, putting in your name and the drawing and we're gonna run out of room there so I will take this and make this a little bit smaller drop this down to like 0.12 uh, so that will fit in. We drew this at full scale so the scale will be one to one and then put in the date you're printing and your period. Once you have saved this you can go to print. Again we're printing black and white so we don't have to go into properties here. So you are going to select the TechEd Drafting TOS you're going to do a window. The window should be around the orange box here. That's the edge of the paper. It will be centered and scale one to one. And you always want to preview. If it doesn't show up in the preview, it's not going to show up on the printer. And then you can plot that. If you have any questions, let me know.